Notice the pattern of the inhalation and the pattern of the exhalation. Allow the crown of your head to grow taller with each inhale. And allow the hips to get heavier with each exhale. Draw the navel closer to the spine. Let it out. You have a capacity inside of yourself to make things more effortful or more easy. Sometimes a little bit of effort will go a long way. Sometimes a little bit of ease will too. The aponic heavy energy that we create by pressing down into the earth and feeling that exhalation, as well as the ability to create an upward rising energy on an inhalation is something that can help you observe oppositional forces in your own practice. How does your breath feel today? How do you feel today? Good. Now that we've all checked in and are feeling good and present, let's come to tabletop on our mat today. In tabletop, we're going to start moving the spine in a couple of different directions. We'll start with the segmentation of the, of the vertebra by articulating the tailbone down like you're a bashful cat, feeling the top of the back of the hip come up, the tailbone will go down, the belly firming, contract your abdominals, chin tucking, feeling like a spooky Halloween cat, and then tailbone switches up. The spine begins to segment from the lower back to the middle back, to the upper back until the head comes up, and then from here we're going to draw the tailbone down, pull the belly in, round the back and tuck the chin. Tailbone up, belly down, chest up. Last one, hold in this direction, tailbone down, long spine, segment, pull it all in, zip up the front line of your body, and then tailbone up. Tummy down, chest up, head up, and now we're going to lead from the head. We're going to tuck the chin around our upper back, oh, our middle back, and our lower back. Pull the tailbone under, and now we're going to lift that head up. Head up, promote up, chest up, squeeze your back muscles, the rib cage muscles, pull the shoulders away from the ears, tailbone up. Wonderful. And we got your cuts. Ooh, round the upper back, round the middle back, round the lower back, and then the last one here, lift the chin, lift the throat, arch your back, tailbone up, oh well, hello. We're going to come into a neutral position now, and we're going to come onto our fists. From our quadruped, we're going to do some scapular rotations. Draw your shoulder blades away from the ears, and now squeeze them together. Watch how that pulls you closer to the neck. And now from here, elevate your scapula, take them near your ears, and now widen them as much as you can away from each other. This will push you away, and then I want you to depress the scapula, moving them away from the ears. Let's try that again. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. It should pull you deeper in, but try to stay statuesque throughout the body. Now, from here, elevate, and now from here, with the shoulders near the ears, we're going to widen the shoulders as much as we can. This pushes us away from the floor, and then we're going to depress. Let's elevate, retract, depress, protract. Shrug up, squeeze together, pull down, push away. We're going to come back onto our hands here. We're going to lift the knees up. And we're going to see if we can take a quadruped, a uh, little bit of shoulder work, and then a little bit of quadruped spine work. So with the knees hovering just an inch off the mat, maybe, you can always come back down to your tabletop. You can be on your palms or on your fists. Can we draw the tailbone up and arch the back? Looking up. And then can we make the tailbone long? Round the back and tuck the chin. Extending the spine, anteriorly tucking the pelvis, chest comes up, and then 
rounding the back. Beautiful. Come down, take a breath. Hover again. And now shoulder blades together. Squeeze the yellow number key pencil and move them away from the ears. Now shove them up to the ears. And now take them wide. Good, now depress them. Squeeze them together. They'll pull you down, shrug them up. Good. Come on down. We'll flip back over onto our hands, coming into an extended wrist position, shifting forward and back. And now, I want to do some neck circles. Tuck your chin into your chest. Drag your chin over to the right. Look over your right shoulder. Lift the head. Draw around. Come find the shoulder with your left chin. And then scrape your collarbone down the middle. Go the other way. Roll the head around. No pain, huh? Go back to center. Let's resist ourselves just a little bit. Maybe about 40% intensity in that resistance energy. Okay. And from here, feeling pretty good. Let's find our down dog. Let's side bend the body, huh? Shift your hips over to the left. Heels over to the left. Push your shoulders to the right. And then we'll bring it back up and we'll try the other side. Getting a nice little side bend feeling, squeezing the right hand side of your body, bringing it back up. Let's bring our right leg into the air. Hello, pillow. <laughs> and stack the hip and reach up. Try to square off these shoulders, feeling that nice twist in the spine, nice open twist. And we'll bring the right leg down. I'll bring the left leg up, keeping those shoulders nice and stable. You know, that's feeling good. And guys, this can be done from quadruped also if you ever want to. It can also be done from tabletop. We'll bring that left leg down. And I like how this is going. Let's walk the feet up to the hands. Well, you can bring them together a little bit more. Take a little twist here. Reach both hands over to the left. Ugh, get into it, huh? Go over to the right. Squeeze it all in. Feeling so good. Come back to the middle, find your legs. Turn them on. Lift your head up, pull the belly in. And fold, relax the head down. Find your legs, find your strength. Inhale, reach both of your arms up over your head. Reach up and look up. And we'll bring the hands to the sides. Guys, set your timers, adjust your drawers, do the things that make you feel good.